Hello all, welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul uh, Today I am going to show you how you can use the storage buckets in UI path effect effectively in your automation using Studio Web. Okay, so uh, this storage bucket is a feature in UI path uh, in which you can store your files. Okay, so for an example, just consider uh, your organization is having some five automations, and out of this five automations, some four automation is uh, going to use one file okay for different different uh, automation purpose so instead of keeping it separately what you can do you can uh, create a file in storage bucket and you can use the same file for all these uh, four automations okay and another benefit of storage bucket is it is uh, in a uh, folder level so you can set the use of permissions accordingly like who all have access to the storage bucket and which are automations can have access to uh, this particular uh, files in storage bucket so all these things you can set as it is in a folder level okay so currently i'm in a tenant and if i go to any of the folder you'll be able to see this entity called the storage bucket right so if i go inside that here by default ui path is providing one storage bucket or if you want to link any other storage bucket or create a new storage bucket you can create it right so here uh, for this demo i'm just going to use uh, any of this uh, storage bucket that i already created um maybe i'm going to use uh, this uh, uh, demo uh, bucket and i'm going to use this uh, f2.txt so i'm just going to show you like uh, how you can easily create an automation which helps to download this file and uh, making some modification to this file and again how you can uh, upload it back to the storage bucket all right so let me do one thing let me Go to orchestrator and uh, let me open up the studio. Let me create a new project. Okay, manual automation. So it's uh, very easy to create the um, uh, a bucket as well and if you want to upload the files manually you can directly click on upload new file and just browse the file and upload it right okay so it has opened so my first task is i need to download storage file yeah you can just search for download a storage file then you'll be able to see download storage file uh, activity download say copy of a file in a orchestrator storage bucket locally okay so let me use that one and what's the file name it's a test data txt okay so let me choose the orchestrator folder part so here you have to choose the uh, folder in which folder and uh, uh, in which storage bucket you need to access right so as i mentioned storage bucket is in folder level so you have to choose the hospital folder so i'm going to use a demo and inside that which bucket i i need to use i'm going to use a demo and uh, here the interesting thing is like it is automatically listing down all the files as well as the bucket all the details right and yeah here i can choose the file path as well and uh, so options of file name and location okay i'm just i'm just i'm just giving some name okay test dot I'll just keep it like a demo dot txt okay and output here we have a variable called a file okay so the output you will be uh, getting it in um, file variable and this is of a type uh, i uh, il resource uh, category okay so i will tell you like how you can use this uh, output variable as well so what's the next task uh, here we got a uh, output variable so let me do one thing let me add a log message okay so i'm just going to print the local path okay local path of this uh, file okay then i'm going to read this uh, text file read text as i got it read a text file so how i need to read it so the file should be file 
right so this is the output variable so i'm going to directly pass that uh, value fine then continue on error then in encoding like if you want to encode it you can uh, use any of this uh, uh, encoding method and the output here it will be directly put into this particular output uh, variable and again i'm adding one more log message I'm just adding this variable. Okay, so that's it. So let me do one thing. Let me try to execute this. So it is executing one by one. Package restored. Okay, so here you can see each step is getting uh, successfully completed, and uh, this is the name of the file. So as you know, like uh, this particular uh, studio automation is not actually using the robot that is configured in your local, right? So uh, it will be using the cloud robots that uh, are available in uh, Studio Web, right? So that's why the path is like this, uh, temp, and it is adding some path, and after that you can see demo.txt, right? So there is a file. And it has read the file uh, properly, and here you can see the output as well. Hello. So now, what is my requirement? I just need to uh, modify the file details, right? Or just consider if I want to append something. So let me try to, or just use write write text file. Okay. So write to file which file? Write to read text file. Okay, download sorry. Okay, so write to this particular file. What I need to write updated text file. Okay, I'm just uh, doing this for uh, for a for a demo purpose. Okay, so maybe we can remove this as well. From my understanding, double quotes is not required. Okay, and uh, continue on error. And here we are getting uh, an encoding option. If you want to encode, you can encode it directly. Right? So that's it. Okay, then again, what I'm going to do is okay, to this update a text file. Okay, then after that, I'm going to just upload this file upload storage file okay so where is a path or if you want to change uh, the folder like if you want to upload to some other folder after making this change that is also possible so i'm just going to use the same uh, folder storage bucket name is demo and uh, file like where you want to upload right so i'm just Put which no no so this file is nothing but like which file you want to upload so I'm just going to use the same file okay and the where you want to upload uh, so let me put it like a demo uh, text dot txt okay so this is the file in this file name it will get update okay so let me go to storage bucket here we don't have that file Okay, what are the additional options? Uh, here, okay, continue on our as well. That's it. Okay, so let me run it again. So, if it is successful, then uh, we'll be able to see a file over here with the details that we provided. Okay. Hello, it is printing. Hello. Yeah, so I think the execution is completed. Let me refresh this. Yes, we got a file. Let me download this. Uh, so the one uh, thing is like you cannot view the contents inside this file. Okay, so if you want to download it, what you can do? Just download the file. Just download. Yeah, so here you can see updated text file. So Using the automation, I updated the details and I uploaded this 
uh, a different file to storage bucket right so this is how you can uh, do the automation using storage bucket or within a studio web so i just showed you two activities like download storage file as well as upload a storage file so if you want to uh, explore more uh, regarding this particular activities related to storage bucket you can just search with the uh, storage and uh, try to find other activities okay so that's all for uh, today so if you find this video useful please like the video share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the video bye